Hello and welcome to the second accompaniment to the seventh part of my series on using the TI-83 series calculator. This video will discuss another way to solve equations in a sense similarly to how we solved for zeros and intersections in the previous video. This uses a program that comes with the 83 series called the solver. You should be careful with the solver because it can be easily misused. Uh, this is not a replacement for pencil and paper by any means. In fact, I rarely use it at all, but it's still something that's worth mentioning in this series. The solver program finds the zeros of a function very similarly to how it does on a graph. That's why it's an accompaniment to a graphing video, even though it doesn't actually involve graphing. This also means that it's subject to the same problem of no sign change uh, that finding zeros on a graph has. To get to the solver program, go to the math menu, then either scroll down to solver or hit zero. Uh, you want it to say equation solver at the top of the screen, but it most likely won't, and that's not a problem. You just hit the up arrow until it gets to the screen. Uh, it'll then say equation, then zero equals. So before you use this to solve an equation, you need to set the equation equal to zero. So I'm going to solve x squared equals one, so to do that, I just subtract 1 from both sides to make it x squared minus 1 equals 0. So I plug x squared minus 1 in and hit enter, and it displays the function equal to 0, and it says x equals, then it says something. But this isn't the answer yet. Uh, remember that the way the calculator solves for zeros is by trying a bunch of values for x, seeing where the sign changes, and then pinpointing where it hits 0. And this x equals right now is the initial guess. It just takes whatever x was last known to, to be there, and it puts it there. And that's the first thing it tries. That's the first guess. Then it moves from there until it finds a sign change. You can change the initial guess to anything you want. To find x, hit alpha, and then hit the enter key for solve. Now what it says x is, is the answer. It says at the bottom, left minus right equals zero, which basically means how accurate it is. I've never actually seen it say anything other than zero, but if it does, that just means that there's a margin of error. You don't need to change the defaults of the bound. It should say it goes from negative 1e99 to 1e99. So my calculator says 1. Yours may agree, or it may say negative 1. The problem is that they are both right, because x squared minus 1 equals 0 at 1 or negative 1. The solver program stops after finding a single answer, and it doesn't tell you if there are multiple answers. The answer it finds is determined by where the initial guess is. To find another answer, try changing the guess. 